Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP Nerds video series on tree and graph data structures. So this topic is about BFS and before this we have seen depth first search. So if you don't know what is depth first search, you can go ahead and watch that video first, but it's not prerequisite. So you can continue with this video also. Okay. So let's continue this video. If you don't know what is BFS and if you don't have little bit of knowledge about this topic, I would like to tell you these points then you will get to know that okay what is the actual use of the bfs and then we'll go and see the program so watch this video till the end and you will understand this bfs topic full so let's start this so the first topic is bfs is one of the tree or graph traversal algorithm so this is pretty straightforward that when you traverse some tree or graph it is one of the way so another point is when we traverse tree or graph then order in which vertices are visited are very important okay now i'm getting a little deeper what i mean by vertices is see this is one node meaning this is vertices so node meaning vertices and edges meaning edges so this is edge and this is your vertex and the second point says BFS traversal algorithm travels level wise. So this is very important point which makes this traversal algorithm different than depth first search because this is breadth first search. So here depth means it was going into the deep and breadth means it will go level by level. DFS means you will go into the depth meaning you will first come here and then go either of these two or if you are going here then you will go either of these two let's suppose you are going here and then you will go either of these two so you are going here so can you see this you are going into the depth see you are leaving all these nodes or what i says this happens in dfs okay let me undo everything and now understand the bfs case bfs comes here now it will travel this one and this one first so it says that i will traverse all the connected vertices first then i'll go further so if you are standing here it is your root so you have to go first here and here or either of the way but it's like you have to complete your this level first then this level okay this is the requirement that's why it's called level wise traversal you will complete level by level so this is your one level this is another level and then you will go here 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 and here so can you notice in depth first search you was going in this way meaning deeper but here you are going in this way okay meaning level wise and here it is very easy to visualize if your graph is actually not looking like this tree then also you can actually visualize if your graph is this much complex then what if you start from uh, what to say uh, from here let's suppose this is your root then how you will traverse first you traverse what is connected with these nodes so this node is connected with this one and this one only now what you will do you will go level wise meaning who all are connected with this node and this node so this node is connected with this node and this was already visited before so nothing is connected with this one so now see which is connected with this one this one is connected with this one and this one and let's suppose if something else was there here and this was connected like this meaning we are done with this level i mean from here to uh wait a minute huh you came here to here and then this one this one this one and this one so this to this was first level and then this this and this was the second level okay if you don't understand this wait a minute i will mark it so this is your first level okay from here because this is your root now from here it is your second and this was already visited so you will not go from here so this is your second and this is your second and this one is for this one so this is how you will visit the second level it was easy to visualize here okay now you will go for the third level meaning you will see which all nodes are connected with this one this one and this one so if you see nothing is non-visited connected nodes so for this node everything is visited so you will not visit this one this one or this one again 
so you will not do anything for this one now you will see this one or this one so let's suppose we are looking at this one then you will see which node is not visited node from here so this guy and this is visited this is visited so we will not visit again and this is your third level and then you will see this one because this is left right so you will see that okay I can go here but this is already visited so I will not go here so this is how you will traverse meaning it work like a broadcast I have written somewhere here see it is kind of a broadcast in the network so this will broadcast to these two now these two will keep on broadcasting so it's like a flood okay I mean if uh, this is your area of the flood and if you your flood is coming from here then it will go in all the directions like this okay and let's suppose if we are talking about the DFS and if this is how it is and your root is this one then you will go into one direction and then you will come back and then you will go into another direction then you will come back and then you will go another direction so things like this you will go into the deeper but here you are not going into the deeper you are covering the level and then you are going deeper so this is the basic difference oh my god i have drawn too much color color here okay let me remove all these things a bit okay so we were talking about this one now let's talk about point number three bfs uses q data structure in order to achieve level order traversal and dfs was using what stack and bfs using q we'll see the program don't worry and fourth point is graph has cycle so we have to keep the track of visited node and we should not visit them again if it is already visited meaning see if uh, you are standing here let me use some another color here do i have another color oh my god i don't have any other color so let's create another diagram let's suppose we have this graph okay and let's suppose this is your root so we have to have some mechanism to tell that this node is already visited because see if you're starting from here and as i said you will go here and here from here and here now as you are traveling from here to here and here now some point you will be standing here then you will feel like okay who is not visited or you know another word who is connected with me so this guy is connected right so you can actually visit from here to here but this is already visited so you will not visit it so how to identify something is already visited you will keep a visited array okay to identify that okay some node is already visited so if you'll read this in order to keep a track of visited nodes we keep array of boolean where we initialize every element of array as false meaning it is not visited and as we visit some node we make them as true so let's look at these uses shortest path or minimum spanning tree of unweighted graph and these are the some of the uses not all the uses there are n number of use of this bfs and i do not want to collect everything because if you know the basic you can fit this algorithm in any place wherever it fits so the second point is social network website we use social network website and if you want to find what are my levels like uh, you would have noticed linkedin it shows you that okay you are connected with this uh, guy with how many level it shows that i don't remember that but i know that it shows okay you are directly connected means one or it is two or it will show you three if you're a linkedin user you will be able to understand this or the broadcasting in the network i explain you right if you're broadcasting from here it will go from here and here here and here then it will go here 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 and here so it's like you are broadcasting it it's not like going into one direction like dfs and then finding all the nodes within one connected component correct but we can use dfs for this no problem but bfs also can be used and it will not use stack so if you are using a recursive way then depth first search would be a little bit costly if you are going for the connected components better go for the bfs so enough theory let's look at the program and understand how it works hey guys time for a quick pause and what you're seeing right now is my patreon page so if you don't know what is patreon it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return you get rewards so 
If you join me, I can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and I'll still have something for you. So do visit my Patreon page and see if you like it. And if you want to discontinue anytime, you can do that. So if you have already visited my Patreon page, let's continue our video now. So as usual, I have taken this graph only in order to explain you the DFS topic, but this is a BFS topic and we'll use the same graph. So this is your root here and this is the program and these are the points you have to repeatedly do and for this I need a queue. So let's make a queue here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like stack, but it is queue. Okay. So the property of the queue is it will be taken out from the front and will be pushed from the back. So this is how it will come out and sorry, go inside and it will come out from here. Okay. Keep this in your mind. So let's start this push start node in the queue and mark it visited, meaning this is your start node. So let's push this into this queue here. We'll push this and mark it visited, meaning we will mark it also. So I will draw this red circle in order to mark it. And if you'll try to map this whole sentences into this program here, it will be very easy for you guys to understand and map it. So I have kept this program also. So you can pause the video and see if it actually matches. So let me go ahead and explain all these things line by line and then you can pause and actually do the matching. So it said push start node in the queue and mark it visited. So we have done it and we have marked it. Okay. Now while queue is not empty, pop out a node from queue and push all the non visited adjacent node of popped out node in queue and mark them visited meaning let's it is saying that pop out a node from queue so let's pop out and remember this whenever you are popping out that time only actually you are visiting so the convention is like this when you pop out then only you will consider that as an output so let me write output and you have popped out one meaning output is one first so you have visited first one here and then it is saying and push all the non visited adjacent node of popped out node in queue and mark them visited meaning this one and this one will go into the queue so let's put them and yeah this one is not there so let me just remove this one here and push two and four and it is saying that mark them visited so this is also visited and this is also visited so if you see here we are saying that push all the non visited addition node of popped out node in queue. So we have pushed them and mark them visited. So I have marked them also. So see, I'm pushing them and continuously marking the same thing as visited. And if you do not understand what is this vector of node of I do not get confused here. It's nothing but vector of vector. Meaning we have, let me explain this guys again, because so many people are not watching DFS and just directly coming here. So let's suppose this is your one vector. So one element of this one will contain another vector here. Okay. So this is another vector. And this guy is zero, one, two, and three. So this one is pointing to this one. This one is pointing to this one. This one is pointing this one and like this. And if I'll say zero is connected with two, then I have to push two here. And at two, I have to push zero because two is also connected with zero. Meaning if it is like this, okay. And if it is like this, meaning zero is connected with one also, then I have to push one also here. And at one, I have to push zero because one is connected with zero and two is connected with zero and zero is connected with one and two. So it's like this. So this vector of node or vector of this node meaning I'm telling that first array and then another suffix is another value in another vector inside that vector. So I'm maintaining the connection in vector of vector. Don't worry if you do not understand this, we'll run the program and see how it works. So let me just undo all these things. So as I said, we'll pop out this node from Q and push all non visited. So we have pushed all, I mean, these two non visited into the Q and mark them visited. So this is what it is said. Okay. And then go to step number two. Step number two is nothing but this while loop, meaning after doing this job, this third step is nothing but this one, this full thing. And after completing this, see this end bracket is 
this while loop so we'll go back and we'll see if list or queue is not empty if it is not empty we'll do the same thing again meaning we'll pop out and we pop out from the front so this two will come here and we'll remove this two from here let me just quickly do this yeah and it said push all non-visited adjacent node of two and mark them visited so non-visited adjacent node of two meaning this one only because this is already visited i have already marked it correct so we will mark this three and push this three into the queue okay we have done it now again go to step number two so we'll go back again here and queue is not empty yeah it is still there so what it is saying pop out a node and pop out mean will pop this four from here correct so let's erase this and write this four here so can you see this first we visited one and then two and four so see we visited here here and here meaning we are actually going level wise so this was your first level and this was your second level now we will go to third level okay let's see how it works now we have three inside this but we popped out four so after popping out what we have to do yes correct we have to mark all non-visited adjacent node of uh, four as visited so we'll mark this one also visited and this one also visited and push them into the stack so let me do that so i'll push uh, let's suppose five and then six okay so this is the current status of your queue now after doing this i'll go back queue is not empty yeah it is not empty let's take this three out three is out let's suppose three is gone from here and then we will see okay we have taken this three out now see all the non adjacent nodes of the three but if you see everything is marked as visited so nothing is there so we'll not do anything because we don't have anything to mark so we'll go back and q is still not empty five and six is there so we'll take out five meaning we'll print this and see five is also gone from here now we'll try to see is there any node which is not visited and adjacent to this five no nothing is there so we will not do anything we will just go ahead and go to step number two and which is nothing but checking the while loop see this is this is the step number two it is not empty because six is still there we will take out this six and print it and when we are popping out this six we will see that all the non-visited adjacent but six is connected with three and four but they are visited so we will not do anything with this okay and we'll go back to step number two again but this time queue is empty so if this queue is empty from here you will come back and then you will go back from here because this is a function so actually this is how you are printing one two four three five six there can be different ways i mean i am printing one and then two and four but actually you can print four and two there is no problem in that because this is one level this is another level so in one level you can print in any order you can print two first and then four or first four then two that is not the problem the problem would be if you are printing four and then five then it is not bfs okay then it may become dfs so let's see the program and run this and we'll sum this video so this is your program here it is exactly the similar one and this is your main driver here and i am taking first number as how many nodes are there so this is what my input is going to be okay it and it's exactly the same thing what diagram we saw okay so these are the connections and this first number is saying that how many nodes are there and then one and two meaning one is connected with two one is connected with four four is connected with five and all that okay so this is actually the connection between the nodes and this is how i will do it see i have vector so this is actually a vector of vector so this is my data structure i am using and this is nothing but the visited vector i told you right i will keep track of the visited nodes okay so let's quickly run this so i'll copy this so i compile it compile successfully let's execute this and now it is waiting for the input let's paste our input and hit enter so it is saying that one two four three five six so our output was this current output is one two four three five six can you see this it is actually similar but it can be different also you can have two here and four here that's not the point so bfs is very easy this is the program and these are the step this third number is very important and this looks little 
hard in the beginning but if you will understand it it will be very easy and if you are coming after watching my dfs video then you will be seeing that okay this is kind of a similar pattern i'm using so actually if you are not able to understand bfs or you understood little bit maybe 60 or 70 percent then i would recommend go ahead and watch the dfs video i have explained that also so if you are comparing this one and bfs which is this one so it will be very easy for you to actually map and see the difference then you will understand a little better and i hope you have enjoyed the video so i'll see you in the next videos take care bye bye